Hello, and welcome to the Bellhops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, normally answering your gaming and game night questions while striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. I'd like to welcome you to my tabletop here in my home. I'm here with my wife, Deanna, here tonight, and we are going to play some Gloomhaven. But not just some normal Gloomhaven. We've got something special tonight. We have the Solo Scenario Book which I think some people were able to get through Kickstarter. We picked it up at Origins from the Cephalo Fair booth. This will be our first time trying out a solo scenario. Deanna is going to try to run through this with her Mind Thief. Normally, we would be playing with Tori and Kat, sometimes known as Kator, playing four players. But tonight, we are doing the Mind Thief solo adventure, which is... Uh, there we go. Point that way. <laughs> Mind Thief solo adventure. So again, I'm Mo Tuzano, Tabletop Bellhop. As I said, I normally answer gaming and game night questions. If you have a gaming or game night question, please send that to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or head over to our webpage, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop. Also on the webpage, you can find answers to other people's gaming questions, as well as news, reviews, and other cool gaming stuff. I don't think there's going to need much more preamble. Uh, before you leave, make sure you hit subscribe or follow or thumbs up, like, show, show your love. We'd appreciate it. Um, so going forward, obviously there's going to be spoilers. Uh, the Mind Thief is obviously a character class from the original game, so we're not going to spoil anything there. But if you're at all interested in solo scenarios and you're playing a Mind Thief and you don't want to know what's coming ahead, there are going to be spoilers for that. Now I do admit, the beginning of this book says you should study, so maybe instead you should watch this closely and learn from Deanna's mistakes. I haven't studied. It's going to be a surprise. I might regret that choice. So what we're going to start off with is the beginning of this book, which, just because we've never done a solo scenario before, just to explain what the rules are for a solo scenario. So welcome to the solo scenario book. In this document, you will find a solo scenario for each of the 17 classes in Gloomhaven, a scenario that can be played only using that class and that class only. So unlike playing Gloomhaven solo normally, where you would play two characters, in this case you're only playing one. Uh, these scenarios are locked until the town has achieved prosperity level 3, and two characters have retired. Those are requirements we have hit in our group. It notes to stop reading. So at this point, now it's where the spoilers start. Note these scenarios have no scenario numbers or stickers. I'm going to paraphrase some of this. Um, there should be no campaign interactions. So you can't have events. You don't have travel events. And you can't go to the sanctuary to pray before coming. They also don't count for specific location type personal quests. So if Deanna had something that was like, um, go to 20 different dungeons this wouldn't count. I don't like that part about not getting blessed. Yeah, you can't be blessed. Good. The scenarios can be played using the existing character or make a new one. We are using an existing character from our ongoing campaign. No, these are significantly harder than normal scenarios. They're designed to test your skill and knowledge of the class. It's recommended that you study the scenario before playing and choose your ability cards, items, and perks carefully. Characters can earn money, experience, battle goals, and personal quest progress as normal. So you can get personal quest if it's like kill so many things, or loot so many chests, or something like that. It is recommended, though, you focus on just doing what you can to win. So they're saying, basically saying, don't just use this to grind, and level up and get money. Fair. Uh, note the reward is an item that is particularly beneficial for the class. Um, warning, there's spoilers for all the classes in Gloomhaven. They do it by symbols, which is a nice touch so that you don't know the names of anything you haven't unlocked. So we are going to flip to page 8 and read off Rodent Liberation. Help us! You wake up from a nightmare in a cold sweat. Somewhere deep beneath the city, your rat allies are in pain, and they need your aid. You grab your gear and race through the dark tunnels of the sewer, heeding the swarm's psychic call. They have been imprisoned by some malicious force, and their will is being used in a dark ritual. You must set them free. The calls are getting close when you run into an open chamber and encounter a group of your brethren, sickly-looking vermling scouts holding an oddly defensive position to protect the door behind them. You ask what they're doing here, and the words are also defensive. Well, you have no qualms about slaying them to aid your friends. Special Rules all Vermling Scouts are one level lower than the scenario level. Nice. That's interesting. Okay. So I don't know how we do that in the Gloomhaven Helper app, but we will see. How, I wonder if oof. you can do that on the app. Can I do that on the app? Do you have to set the app to level 4? Uh, and then change it and set it to level 5 when we get to the next I part? I don't know. We will see. 
All right, so which Vermilion Scouts do we have out? Here's the part that's going to stink. We have the oh. players with the bad eyes playing. Two, seven. Hold on. Two. Seven. Five. Five. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. And ten. Ten. Okay, now, can I adjust the levels? Yes. So I can change him to level four. It's going to take a couple seconds. Four. Are they all four now? Does that just change them all? You can manually swap each one down to four. They're all switched to four by doing that. Cool. Yes. So let's see. They all had six hit points. If, well, no, that's plus. If I go up to five, they all have eight hit points. So yes. They the all went. Hey, that's a scenario effect. So at this point, Deanna would choose her cards, her perks. I think we've done all of that before we got started here. Yep. Choose your perks. Your perks are... Oh, you mean this? Like if you... No, no. No. If you had um, made a new character. Okay. Because I'm like, you read don't your swap, scenario I, before you, you choose your perks. your perks. So I'm like, they stay. All right. So you're going to punch yeah. punch in your initiative as normal. Cards. And then I will my hit next move. round. We are going to start the background. Right. Need some sewer sounds. Okay, it's not letting me put my initiative in. When I tap on my face, it's just bringing me out. Like, and the Burnley Scouts already have initiative, so it's just telling me to go first. You must have hit draw. Uh, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, like, I'm going before them anyway. They have so. a card. So I am undoing. Okay. It won't let me undo. Well, it won't let me undo. Yeah. Maybe it was just being weird because Oh, now I got rid of all the monsters. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Sorry, what numbers were they again? Okay. All right, so we got two, five. Why did it draw a monster right away? Weird, it drew initiative like as soon as. Seven, eight, hmm. nine, and ten. Weird. I just wonder if it's being weird because there's only one player character. Maybe. I honestly don't know. Anyway, they... And normally in a solo, uh, you don't do a solo mission if you play single. Yeah, I know you play you multiple characters, two, right? So and there know. was no scenario for me to. You know what? It's even got cards already drawn. This isn't good. Yeah, I don't know. What this doing. isn't working right. We needed to do a new scenario. Add characters, remove monsters, yeah. set scenario, solo. Hey, there's even a solo. Yeah. Well, the scenario number you put in, it should know it's from the solo book. There is no scenario numbers in the book. Oh, you just had to tell it what the creatures were? Alright. Alright, we shouldn't have started the stream yet, because Zoomhaven Helper's being weird. It's on page 8. How do I know which number this is? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Set scenario 6? No, those no, aren't the right ones. because there's a scenario number 6 in the original book. No, I clicked on solo. There's a solo button. Okay. Custom. There. Alright, now. Add monster. This will be in the butt. Sorry, people watching at home. I guess it makes sense. The solo adventures wouldn't be in there. Yeah, it's on my... I didn't think they would be. Alright, All so right. now we're going to add Vermilion Scouts again. Again, we have two, five, seven, yeah, they didn't draw this eight, time. nine, and ten. And ten, and I'm gonna have to click on them and reduce their level to four. Because my speaking. level is nine, hence the scenario level is Five. half of that rounded up. There we go. Now you should be able to put in your. All right. All right. And there is. I'm not gonna put the thing out, but there's a number one on the door. Like it's gonna trigger something. Okay. When you go in the door. I'm just not bothering with it. Okay. Putting it out. I'm good. Alright, I need to get this back. Is that closed? <sighs> hey, it's Mujin joined too. Good luck, Deanna. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know why it had us in the middle of a round. I think it's because I cleared all the monsters and added them. They thought we were still playing the last scenario. Yeah, I was doing something wrong. There we go. All set now. Now okay. you are going first at five. Yeah, told you I was going to do that. I was like, because we're moving and attacking four. Okay. So, um, I'm going to do it. 
This is the move that Tamusha told me off for doing before. Uh oh. He's going to uh, give me a hack. So I'm going to kill this guy. And then. Drops a coin. Yeah, and then I will target all three of these adjacent ones, starting with number two. Mobilized. And I hit him for four. Almost dead. And then number five. Yeah. So those two add together and be zero. Is that how that works? So yeah. attack two. I hit him for two. Okay. And then on the which one should one, kill? Which is number Number nine was the one that died. Eight is the third one I'm attacking. Mm -hmm. Ice is infused, and I hit him for four. Tricky four. Ice card four. And ice. Then I'm going to... I will make one of them attack one of the other ones. So these two are pretty close to dying, right? Four out of five, so how many hit points they have? They have six. They have six, okay. So eight is at two, and two is at two, but immobilized. So, yeah. You have all that, aren't you? I know. So, but what's the point of having you as a helper? <laughs> so I'll have number ten. Yeah, he's close enough. I'll have number 10 attack number 8. Okay. It's an attack 2. Oh, I draw? Yeah, you draw. Only one. So 3? It'll do 3. No, it did 1. Oh, it's, it's minus. an attack 2. Yes. I thought you meant you drew only 1, no, no. so it does 1 damage. Okay, no. I see. Then I'm going to summon my Skelly Buddy. In front. He's probably not going to last long. Oh, <laughs> At least he'll soak some of the hits. They're not doing area attacks, so it's something. Yep. Alrighty. Rat number two is stuck. Squeals, but isn't able to get closer. Rat number five. Mm, this is number five. You are both equidistant, but you went before. So mm -hmm. it moves up and attacks you. Okay. It is an attack for four. Oh, this is not going to go well. Yeah, that's what I said. Damn. All right. You're going to go down in the first room. Huh. Okay. Number seven. He's over here. How far are you moving? What? Who's closer? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five. You're equidistant, so he's gonna move up. You, but he only moves two. There we're yeah. Then number seven. That was so seven. seven. Number eight. That's definitely closer to the orc. Which one is it? This one or this yeah, one? Yeah, the one that's closest to the orc. We'll move up. And he attacks, misses. Excellent. And the other one will move two and attack the orc. Skeleton four four. And he does. So, wow. right, that was lame. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm like, I'm going to go last one. Mm. points out, at least it's going to be easy to set up and try again. Right, exactly. That's Next exactly round. What I was thinking. Um, oh, that's right, two was immobilized. Zoom okay. out. Wee. Monsters attack summon first, generally, even right after the summoning? No, yeah, the turn they're summoned, they go at 99. I don't think so. Not the round they're summoned. The yeah. round they're summoned, they have they're an initiative of 99. 99. After that, they go just before the character. I've had to look this up before. Oh, boy. May as well keep this on the space. Day after day has been here for a while. They were talking about inserts earlier. But thank you.
The after days, right? They always consider to have slightly faster in the summer. They just don't act. No, um, Bob the Naked Mule wants to know if we've attempted this scenario before. No, this is nope. our first time. First try. But we have to back up because I guess they all would have attacked your. Oh, really? So we basically have to redo all this. See, I would have figured they had an initiative of 99, so the turn they're summoned, they wouldn't get hit. They first. definitely have an initiative of 99 to turn they're summoned. I remember having to look that up before. So we may have to back things up. Can a Pathfinder summon her? Oh, I forgot to put it God, I hate using my phone for this sometimes. Alright, well, I'm theoretically ready to go. Unfortunately, Cat still has my rule book. <laughs> oh, at the end, I'm going to have to go to the washroom anyway. Better at least make it to the second room, so I can. What have we figured out? That's weird. Even the turn it comes up, eh? All right. Fair enough. So what's the deal? So they should all attack the orc. So if we back it up. <sighs> the first one hit me for four. What if it's oh, the orc? Undo, still? undo, undo. Let's undo some stuff here. Oh. You've taken damage at this point. You haven't taken damage. You're grayed out. They've all taken damage. So if we back it up. Yeah, see, even on the round they're summoned. Alright, fair enough. So we gotta back it run out. Where were they? I don't even know. Well, so much. within the... Number two wasn't going to move because he was... Uh... Alright, so again, number two, put your work back. Oh, I still have a number one drawn, though. Is that from it attacking? And a plus zero? Yep, probably. Is the plus zero from them? But one of them was immobilized. There we go. Wouldn't have moved, so I'm not sure that that's... So number two doesn't move. Yep, okay. Then number five. We'll go after the orc. We'll go after the orc. Your choice, here or here. Here, then it'll attack the orc for four. Yep, the orc dies. The orc dies. The other guy moves up. Then number seven, mm -hmm. which is this one, will move up to. He'll miss. So attack you and miss. Yep. Then number eight, which is this one. No, nope, put it back. So eight goes one, two. It's gonna hit me for another attacks four. Attacks you for four. And then number ten, we'll just move to here. And you gotta mark wall mark your four damage. There we go. Thank you everyone in the chat room for your help. Despite playing this silly game for two years, we still make mistakes. Almost two years. Something's See, there's right. somewhere that said Something's not right. What's not right? Because the one that was immobilized had to be one of the ones I hit. Well then maybe this one was here. Yeah, number two had to be here. Because it has to have been one of the ones uh, I hit that was so immobilized. I undo be this everything guy in again. The corner. Well, uh, I'm sorry. Which means he won't even be able to reach you. So we have to undo everything again. Wonderful. I feel like we're playing Groundhog Day. Whoops, I need the minus one. Alright, so let's put them all back. So this one has to be here. Is that the difference? And wasn't eight here and ten there? 
No, eight and ten were thus. I, I mean, I read the numbers out two enough times, but I'm not sure they're in the right position. That's what I'm saying. What order do they have to be in? They're in the right order. It was two, five, seven, eight, ten. But are they in the right... That's what I'm asking. It doesn't tell you what numbers no, go where. Numbers. Just, yes, they yeah, okay, they're in the right, right spot. So now they're right. Now they're right? Yes. Okay. Two and seven got swapped. That's all that happened. All right. I'm not sure how it happened. So again, five. Yep. We'll just do that. And then hit two for four. Yep. And then you take... Oh, no, he kills the orc. He kills He kills the orc. Yes, and yes. you wanted him to move there, not there. Yes. Okay. Then number seven. He can't actually reach. So, but actually go there. Then number eight is this one. You swapped eight and ten. You swapped eight and well, ten. Well, see, that's why I asked They you. were like that. There you go. Okay. So eight comes up and hits you for four. Yep. No, misses. Yeah, eight misses. Yep. And then ten can't reach. Correct. There you go. And two can't move. And you hadn't taken any damage. Ta-da. The end. Wow. That was... Ready for round two? <laughs> I got my cards picked out. Did you put in your initiative? Not yet. So you hadn't taken any damage at this point. I like that. Ice Answer was better. still infused, right? Uh, yep. Because that was for me drawing. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, it worked out in the end, but man, what a mess. Oh, I should have zoomed back in for the replay of what actually happened. That I forgot. Right. You're it's grayed out. Me, yeah, it's not letting me... Um... Oh, I gotta hit next round. Sorry. There you go. Alright. Draw! Oh, they're gonna poison you. They are moving, attacking at range, and poisoning. So the ones I hit were 2, 5, and 8. Those are the ones that have been damaged. Yes, 2 and 8 are the most damaged. 2 only has one hit point left? No, 2. Okay. Alright. So, I will attack. Number ten. No, wait. Ten is at full health. Number seven. There we go. <laughs> seven. I'm gonna attack number seven. Which no, is number also seven. Full health, is at full health. Okay. And I hit it for four. Okay. And I'm also going to attack number two. Number two. It's down to two health. And I will hit it for four. Number two dies. That was this card. And then I'm going to move one, two, three. And, um. <laughs> day after day gaming, seeing the scenario where someone's almost dead at this point. So, I will so far, so good. Number eight. Number eight has two health left. And five has how much? Five Four left. Two. I'm going to attack number five. Number five. For five. Number five is dead. Ice is infused. Again? Yeah. Then, I am going to use my major stamina potion to recover these two cards. Yeah, the intro said all of the, them are punishing scenarios. Every All these solo ones are supposed to be really hard. Okay. Done. Done. Number seven is right in front of you. Is going to move one. Where would you like him to move? Here, here, here. Oh, he wants to back up. Yep. Because they are ranged attack. Didn't they move in to hit me melee last time? Yes, they did. Yeah, okay. Suckers. Sneaky burn legs. Yeah, sneaky burn legs. Uh, that's fine. He's good where he is. All right. I we haven't unlocked the three spears yet. He is attacking three. Make that five. And poison. Okay. I have to put this in. Five. And for the house. Poison my house. It's Mujin notes. It really comes down to the luck of the draw. Scouts can have some super easy ability cards, but these aren't them. And day after day replied with true. Alright, number eight. If he's attacking me, they are before range you draw, that you hit. 
I would like to use my leather armor to give him this advantage. Does that work on range attack? One attack. Okay. They were both minus ones. Hits you for two. I think you will buy the Jade Falcon item and just drop a bunch of summons just to soak damage the first time. <laughs> well, I've tried that. So. And then number 10, again, does not have to move. No disadvantage this time? No, no disadvantage this time. For four. Yeah. Make that five with your poison. I'm almost dead. Almost dead. I need the sawbones to bust down the door and come heal me up. Yeah. Sorry, he's busy doing playing bad guys. Pretending as he's LARPing Vermlings. That's what the problem is. It's just him in a fursuit. Yeah. Next round. It's not looking good. Really not looking good already. Well, I just need to kill them all this round and then it won't be a problem, right? Yeah. It's only three. It's cool. I can do it. And <laughs> now it's gone bad. <laughs> Someone in the chat points oh. out. Hmm. Go and open the door. Um, no. <laughs> Tempting, but no. No, no door. No door. No door. door. Two, two, and six. Mujin recommends if you do this again, take the invisibility cloak instead of leather armor. Let you completely avoid rounds like these. Yeah, that's true. I don't have such thing. I did spend some money, but yeah, I did think about swapping out my gear. That's why I asked you if there was traps because I could yeah, ditch this. Bob the Naked Mule agrees. Yeah, hey, um, you don't have an invisibility cloak, do you? Um, you know what? I have a card that does invisibility too, but it's not in my deck right now. It's uh, it's conceit and thought. Let's break one on a lower level. I have some cooler things now. I don't know. Card. Choices. I don't know. I think I'm going to do the same move I just did last round. Very exciting. <laughs> see if I die. Alrighty. So. I'm sure I'm going first. Yes, you are. They are looting this turn. You got saved by the Vermlings doing nothing useful. Excellent. So they're going to steal all the money, but so That's what? That's fine. They can have all the money. I don't need it. Whoever's mind controlling these Vermlings is lost control for a round here. Their, their greedy nature has taken over. Or maybe I got through to them. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's it. Maybe you got through to them. Um, alright, so, which, which one has six hit points left? I'm attacking him. Number ten? On number ten. For four. On... He's eight. rolling. Oh, yep, you're right. Four, five, six. It's dead. Boom. As it scoops down to pick up some gold, you destroy it with a ranged right, attack. Number eight. Number four. Dead. And number two. You have three attacks? Uh, well, this up here is two attacks. And then with this, okay, I can just double. move, which I might as well move up here. Get some loot. Yeah. Not gonna open the door. No, you're not this way. <laughs> and tap this guy. So this my first card was this yeah. one, which let me attack two targets. And now I'm doing this one. Um. Have you drawn already? Or uh, no. no. And I'm going to get him for three. He dies. First room is cleared. All right. Where was he? Where was he? I'm not gonna go back and pick up the money. We're good. No. No. You got nothing else to do. You got nothing else to do. You can go yeah. run around, pick up the money. Not bad. 
Okay, so not bad. Uh, this one go in. I'm gonna use my minor stamina potion to take that third back because I'm fond of it. Now, not bad. If I rest, I won't be poisoned anymore. Right. That is correct. But do we figure out? It you just, don't get the hit points. You don't get the hit points. It just gets rid. It just of the gets poison. rid of the poison. Oh. That's only on a long rest. It's gonna cost you a card. It's just cost me a card. I am at four freaking hit points. Yeah. Uh, you don't have any healing potions? No. See, maybe that's something I should yeah, probably, probably should instead of this. I don't potions. own any healing potions. I show up shopping. Properly <laughs> equip myself for this. Uh... We've never used a scoundrel yet. Bob the Naked Mules as a scoundrel. I'm itching to get those coins. Yeah, what's coming up is one reason it's good to study before going in. Yes, mm -hmm. they, they do warn you to they do warn you, study right? before so, starting. Yeah. But we went in blind. Deanna doesn't even know what's in the next room. No. That's, uh... <laughs> this is me studying for round two. <laughs> this is studying. Yeah. <laughs> day after day. Yep, it's about to end. Wow, the, the, the chat room is, it's, is it's really... Uh, That's good. Yep. Awesome. I'm going to... You don't need to shuffle your deck. Uh, I don't think so. Boo Day says I believe in you. I have not nope. drawn okay. anything a lot that of would stuff. make me shuffle. It's like half your deck. Okay. So I'm thinking that I'm also Today's Gloomhaven stream brought to you by No, not actually because they're not sponsored. Wolfgang Puck. Jamaican me crazy coffee. But you must have been drinking some, because I'm almost out. Yeah, I told you I was drinking it when you bought the box of it. I think you drank more of it than I did. Well, that I don't know. Um, yeah, but I don't drink the ones that you buy the one-shots yeah. of. I make sure I don't touch <laughs> those. I've finally gone through, like, I have maybe eight cups left. My mom hasn't bought another, uh... Of the stuff your mom bought me last November. I probably shouldn't be distracting them. No. Okay, I'm going to do this, I know that, and I'm trying to figure out the other thing too. <laughs> Need to keep that. Wow. Need that. Yeah, people aren't expecting you to get much further. Great! It's very, very helpful. Day after day gaming. Unfortunately, I believe won't help in this case. Huh. Lovely. I'm just going to open the door and instantly die. When you open the door, rocks you take fall five on you. Damage. You take five damage, yeah. And so, since you're already at four, <laughs> your scenario is done. Good luck trying again. Okay, well, I got a plan. I'm thinking I'm going to open the door, fall back, and summon my rat king and let him go through the door for me. Hey. That's my plan. Alrighty. I'm just trying to decide what move card I'm using to do it. So, one, two, three. I need to keep everything basically. Definitely need that one. So, for people who played multiple of these, how's the Mind Thief solo rank up compared to other solos? Alright. Well, I don't need to put in my initiative. It really doesn't matter. I'm well, I do just here. to. I'm going to put it in just to. Okay. 82. Oh, I can't, it looks like. You can't? Has to be no, you? No, it looks like it has to be you. You have to, because when the monsters spawn, mm. you're going to act based on so when right they're now going. I can't, you're 82 seems like a really key. bad choice. Oh, I didn't hit next round. Shit. Yeah, I could have made it go faster. Because they're all going to act You're then. right, they'll have already all acted when I open the door. It's not now, but yes. I know, you're right. <laughs> it means whatever's in the next room is going to go. Now you gotta put in your numbers. Oh well. You already declared it. Oh yeah, I know. You could I'm go thinking. slower. No, yeah, slower, that'll help. Right. Hey, we have enough people in chat that Nightbot's actually doing stuff. It's crazy. Alright. 82. So. Alright. I open the door. Do I instantly die? That would speed things up. Request scenery for the win. I'm guessing T Junction. Yeah. T 
T junction. T junction. What's your function? And we have an altar. There's earth demons in there. Maybe and they another altar. And then a really fancy altar. With water in front of this altar. Water behind the altar. And another door. You hurry through the door, and a wave of noxious fumes hits your head with full force. Your mind reels as you realize some foul mag magic is afoot. You must stop it. You immediately suffer five damage. I ignore Ooh. negative scenario effect. Does that work? This isn't a scenario effect. I actually just suffer five damage and die? There you go. Wow. Everyone tried to warn you. Yeah, well, that... <laughs> Damn. Well then. <laughs> Show me where the bad guys are on this room, please. Done. Come on, I opened the door. You I can technically lose a card to avoid the damage. Oh shit, that's, you can on a, yes. a ritual like that? Okay, yeah. Well then. Oh. Okay. Well, then I will do that until you die because isn't that silly? You also gain poison. Unless you're already poisoned, in which case you suffer three damage. This effect ends once all altar altars have been destroyed. Wow. That's terrible. Okay. So I have to destroy the altars? And what's in that room? That's it. Besides the altars, that's, that's it. it? No bad guys? This is it. That's it. Yeah, at the end of each round, I, th I think I said at the end of each round. No, I didn't. You at didn't. the end of each round, you also gain poison. Unless you're already unless poisoned. Unless you're already poisoned. In which you, you, take you, are, three damage. you take three damage. So you're going to take three damage every round, and you have to destroy the altars. Yep. How many hit points do they have? <laughs> Twelve. Each? Yep. And all three of them exist? Yep. Jesus. Oh no, L scenario level, right? Scenario level. So eight. Eight. I was thinking it was character level. L is a uh, scenario level. Eight hit points each. Mm -hmm. Well, you're still alive. Is the poison going to affect my companion? Too? Um. No, it says you. So no, your summons will not be poisoned. I assume it says you immediately suffer damage and gain poison. No, it doesn't say all characters. It's an interesting room. I like it. Yeah. That's something very different. You than can like other. it from over there, buddy. Um. Yes. You might want your move to heal to self card. Yeah, I know. Why wouldn't summons target the altars? They're considered enemies. Oh, my summons will. won't That's what someone's saying, but I thought we looked it up before. They will. Summons treat obstacles with hit points as enemies. We figured that out when we had to kill the giant pillar, the black pillar that went out into space. We had to go look at FAQs. We had to look it up that. and look up FAQs. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's what you should be doing in this room. Summon the heck out of it. Yeah. The problem is you can't just shut the door. At this point, it's going to happen to you all the time. It's going to happen even in the other room. If I'm in the other room, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say you have to be in this room. Yeah. Okay. It's the magic from the altars. You must stop the magic from the altars. Damn. Yeah, we get some rules right. <laughs> Every once in a while. Especially the ones we've had to FAQ twice. Well, there is that. Oh, God yeah, you need, you need, right, I think so you need your melee I'm heal in that, that first away. room. Well, I didn't melee them. I, I, um, I have it. The cards are here, the meat, but uh, all of those were ranged attacks that I did. Yeah. So that's why I didn't end up putting it out. Okay. Nightbot says the second battle right, hops so out, you can't have, one, an, not, have an extreme two, play. Three, four. I might as well just move all the way in instead of falling back. Yeah, at this point. I threw away a card. I think it's awesome there's a room with no mad guys in it. That's just kick-ass. Yeah, it's interesting. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, we've definitely used allies to fight objects many times. Lord Radicus. Lord Radicus. Yeah. At the end of the round. By which you mean, am I going to be taking three poison damage? Yes. I don't I'm see how you get to, to live till next round. Yeah, hey. yeah. You always get cards for this card. Yep. Um, Do you own any healing potions? I have four health, so... I, no, I don't own any. I'd have to go wow. shopping. That's the that's the thing there. Um, see, technically you can't, because you can't go to... I don't know. Can you shop in Gloomhaven? It says you don't do any events, so yeah, you could have went shopping. I can't see why not. Yeah. You can pretty much go shopping all the time. I'm going to use the Pendant of Dark Packs to refresh these two. Still got those on healing potions. Yeah, well, wouldn't that be awesome? I, I have some money right now, too. I have like 78 gold saved up. That's not what I was saving up for, but yeah, I could go shopping and buy some healing potions. Maybe some feather armor. I remember I found some interesting pattern last week, didn't I? We opened it. Yeah, there chest. was something. We got something new. We got something new. I remember I wanted it. That's all I remember. So. Oh, pictures. Oh, well, we're going to have to start over again, probably, anyway. Shut up. <laughs> well, I just don't see how you're lasting more than two rounds here. It's going to be... Um, you might make it three. Phenomenal. <laughs> you even put in the blog post today. I have to remember to take pictures. I know. Shit, don't put my cards together like that. Um... I want to take. <laughs> Who days prepared to be amazed? So show us how it's done. I'm gonna recover this discard point. Right well, you're gonna here. melee attack these. Put your melee heal out. Not every time you stab a thing, you get help with that. Yeah, I know. Because you know, stabbing altars is, is invigorating. Healing, but it's not gonna. I'll be taking more than a healing. Except when I heal, I'll just get the poison off. Yes, and then the poison will come back at the end of the round. But you don't take the three damage. Take the three damage. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It'll keep you alive for this one. It'll keep me alive for this one. Um. Yep. Okay. Mm. okay. This makes me really wish I'd painted the miniatures. Now so, that I have the extra scene right now. Oh, shoot. I don't actually care about what this particular case is. It should be in the background somewhere. Yep. So, to start we with, at the end of this round, I'm going to take three yes. poison damage. We were up to ten viewers at one point. Which and then they gave up be... on you, I think. Thanks. One, two, three. I'm down to one hit point. It's amazing. It didn't go through? Should have. There we go. Okay. Next round. I'm ready to go. Oh, I should have zoomed out then. But I guess I won't bother. <laughs> I already did all my thinking. I'm going to go at 68. I am going to. That's true. The important people are here. Put my augment on that heals when I do melee attacks because. <laughs> and then I don't have anything to discard. So this one lets me um going to attack. Oh, I'm not gonna there's no the way rat to me. go before me. Yes, the rat will go first. I don't have a good way to track Half this on uh points. the Round app. Five. Uh huh. the altar is stunned. Woo! Way to stun that altar. Yes. Immobilize. Yep, it is. And I do 10 damage to it. Well, that's a quick way to do it. Boom! Boom. You didn't like that altar much. Oh, shit. But he attacked the one I'm adjacent to. I hate him. He did 10 damage? That was my rat. Wow. 
because his um his damage is <laughs> half the rat's current hit point value rounded up. Jesus. His hit points start at nine, four point five, he does five times two, ten. Wow. Boom. Lord Radicus. Yeah. And the altar was there, if he wouldn't have moved, he would have yeah. attacked that one. But screws me over. The altar was here. Wasn't it all occupying two spaces? No. No. He would have had does. to move? He would have had to move. Can then we say he went to that That's one? That's up then? to you. He could go over there. Yeah. Here. I'd like him to go to the one I'm not All right, adjacent fine. to. Thanks. Cheating fairly. And then I will melee attack this one. Cheating thus fairly. healing two. Well, I don't heal two. I heal and get the poison off me. And I hit it for four. And I'm not tracking my XP because I'm already maxed out. That's why I'm not bothering with that. I am well past level nine. And I have to shuffle, because that's my shuffle. And around. And so around. I don't know why I'm doing this. But I didn't even hit draw. Next round. There we go. You're poisoned. Oh, it's terrible. Okay, poison. Do we have an actual thinking round this time? Yeah, let's see. Do, do, do. Well, I have to keep melee attacking. You have to keep melee attacking. Or I'm going down. So that yep. is a pretty easy choice there. Um, yeah. The only reason I'm touching the app is so people can see what initiative you had and stuff, I guess. Yep. Yeah, there's not much use. Unless it, unless you can add a, like a generic bad okay. guy to track hit points or something. I don't know. Is there a add, scenario, add monster, remove monster, documentation, add monster? I'm going to touch it. No, these are like things. I don't see object. Cultist. No, I, I don't see a way to put in like a generic. Don't touch it. Go for it. 51. Ready to go. Now the draw matters, but I'll hit it. And okay. I'll zoom in. So my route would go first. Uh, it's two or two. So. That's closer. Yep. on that four oh, and I two, melee three. attack the I do four. a generic melee attack on the one adjacent to me for four that melee attack well, removes the poison from me It's not going to work. Why not? Short rest. What else can you do? Yeah, I'm gonna have to or use a potion to pick up the card. Yeah. Yeah. I still really dig the fact that there's a, like this trap room. That's awesome. I should have got some altar sounds. Some magic. Yeah. Mm. Alright, that's what I'll do. So, so it doesn't matter. I use two of these cards, but I'm just using them. This one's there. dead, right? Eight, eight kills it. Eight kills it. Eight kills it. Six. I'm like, wait a minute, that's eight. You did four and four. Yeah, okay. Eight kills it. Oh. I could have rested and counted on my radicals <laughs> to take it out, but... There you go, Uday's doing his own sound effects. We need my friend Eugene here, that's what he always did. Okay. The problem is the Rat King's gonna go kill it. Yeah, Rat King's gonna kill it. Oh, I have to shut the thing down. Alright, you going at like seven? Yeah, I'm going at seven. Add objectives. See, is that objects? Add scenarios, add monsters, remove monsters, set scenario, add characters. Show names. Alright. Objective. Rat King on the altar. Oh, you can add escorts and objectives. That altar is immobilized. Oh, there you go. Objective. And it hits it for six. Which it's is enough done. to destroy Boom. it. Boom. So, and the poison gas seeps out of the room. There's no more poison in the room. Okay, now I've got the hell. Except okay. you're still poisoned. You are still poisoned because you didn't hit anything. Oh, shit. That's right. I didn't hit anything. I didn't remove the poison. I can kill the objective. Interesting. Alright, but uh, is there a remove objective? 
remove the objective. Mm. Alright, cool. Now I know that. Okay, so that means there has to be rock golems and um, Vermin Shaman in the last room because there's only one room left. Well, I'm down to one card. Got anyways, to round so... two. I can't believe you got through room two. I'm getting to room three. Uh, that's a given. You get a long rest. I have to. Yeah. I am going for long rest. Which is oh, just going to yeah. get the poison off. Whoops. That's just me putting the wrong thing in. Oh, there goes the poison. I gotta get my card. Mm-hmm. It's actually Earth uh, Demon. Earth but, yeah. Demons, yeah. Can you see it? Isn't there a way to look or no? No, they don't show oh here. Uh, no, they immobilize. And have like ridiculous hit points. Yeah. Okay, that was my long rest. Um, All right. Round's done. Rats Next not round. doing anything because there's no. There's nothing, nothing for him to focus. Summit so East is playing in the water. And open the door, splish, splash, and this is going to cost me two to go through. Yeah, once oh, you can go. God damn it. Burn through those cards. Yeah, exactly. One, two, what are your three, boots? Four. You know how boots are jumping at extra speed? And all my boots do is turn a regular move action into a three. No. So every time I do a regular move action, oh, it's a three instead of a three. two. Yeah, I know. It's not even, like, I guess that's okay. I, you know, do it all the time, but I like I like the other boots better. They give you a plus two. Um. Or jump. But some people have bought other boots are not yeah. all available too. Oh, you pounded through the altars. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna. Move. Move up. This one, I guess. Uh, oh, okay. You gotta put your thing in in case you spawn monsters. If mm -hmm. you're not gonna reach the door, don't bother. I'm not gonna reach the door. All right, don't bother. So, one, two. That guy, you're all three, zoom in four. just for people to see it. Ta da. Big turn. Yep. Right from there. There. Big turn. It was exciting. Lots of stuff happened. I know you're excited. Damn fair. Right. Now <laughs> I'm gonna open the freaking door. No, I'm not. Yeah, stand in front of the door. Oh, Thor's actually there technically. And we figured out before that my thing that grants one ally may perform move four, he still has no target, so he won't move. Yes. You don't get to decide where your summon goes. So right. giving him move four right now means he'll sit there. Yeah. That sucks. Game would be much easier if you got to control your summons. If they acted as it's an actual true. ally. You know what I've been wondering about for a while is this card. It's my uh -huh. newest one. So it's got move five at the top. And then yeah. it's if, if you, you spend use up ice, this happens. Yes. And then the card stays up until the end of your next turn and then it goes away. And then it goes away. And Can you'll you get shield do the off. move five? Yeah. And then you still have the card? Or does it go away? If you no, don't I spend think... the ice does I, that ooh, I think it's burning because of the way it, the way yeah I, I don't I think if you don't spend the ice then you can shared it. nightmare is the card for anyone is, in the chat is it burn if you use the five move but not the shield is the card burn I'm sure someone's asked that before yeah I'm thinking because there's a line break there and that's usually separate actions but that's not a burn break. that's go to your discard it's not even a burn symbol D it wouldn't burn anyway. Yeah, it's just discarded at the end of the turn. Yeah, which is what would happen if you just oh, move five. Oh, it's not the burn there's no, sign. There's not the burn anyways. sign anyway. So, never mind. So, yes, you can yes, use so it to I just can, move I five. Can use it to move five. So, I will go You are going to open the door this turn, then you got to put your thing in, your initiative in. Oh. Because okay. monsters are going to yes. spawn. Okay. Right. And I have to actually pick two cards, not just one. Yes. I'm just like, ooh, I figured out. You don't have any way to heal, eh, before going into the last room with one health? I could rest. 
I could rest and then I'd have to throw away another card. I can melee attack the nothing. That will not work. I can you might have been better off without the rat. Melee attack the rat. No, you can't attack your own allies. Um, he really helped me get through those altars that altars. you would have got to kill yourself. I don't know. Eventually. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know what was going to be in here when Sorry, I, I got when rid I of the token. Him. I just didn't know. I move summoned it on the Rat King, um, not knowing what was on the other side of the door. Yeah. So that's. But good catch, Bob, the naked mule. What did, what did we do? I now? still had you as poisoned on the app. I am not poisoned. No, we painfully. removed the token, but I forgot. I could take a long app. rest right now. I don't know. I don't know if two hit points will save you and lose points? a card. When you don't untap anything either, right? No. So you don't like get any gear back. Nope. I don't know. And I don't have you can always open the thing and either. run away. I don't know. Well, possibly. Right? <laughs> I don't so know what we'll, that helps. We'll just see what happens. There is something to read when you the, open the door. So I don't know. I'll find out so when I come back yeah, next this time. This is a number uh, two, so when you open this door, we're going to read. So I'm going to do the monk five, and I'm going to not do that. Right. Okay. Hmm. Damn it. Maybe I don't. If I do move three, I'll be right there. But then I'm out of cards and I have short rest and I'm eating too much. Well, short deck. rest isn't good, probably. No. Nope. So that's not going to help either. It's just. Uh, I can do that move five, but I don't think I want anything interesting going on other than that because I'm spending money. So if I did a move three, then these cards would be gone, and then I have to do a short rest. And if I got rid of a card I really like, I wouldn't be able to work that way. So it's not really nope. You open the door and run away and not the rat king take care of everything else. Yeah, I'm sick of that. Just go hide and go get the coins. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back in the other room. I don't know. Oh. Hey, you got past room two. Most people in the chat didn't think we were going to do that. Well... It's true. So I'm just going to take out everything with one hit point. It's going to be fucking amazing. Um, we are explicit. I'm um, sorry? If I, go up, if I only go up three, I could do a long rest to get two more hit points, but I'm not going to have enough attack actions left to actually do anything once I get in there. I'm standing here, that's one, two, three, close enough to that. Alright. I'm good. Are you opening the door? I am opening yeah, the door. Yeah, so put it in. Put yes. in my pack number. It means the monsters are going to show up. Yeah, at least I'll get to see the last room. True. Right you can learn. Seven, you're first. Alright, I go one, two. Three, four, five. Doesn't want to go in. Where's the doors go? There they are. The door! The deer's door. Female deer. Oh! Oh well, there's a scout on the floor. Never wanted him anyway. Scout! Oh, I thought we were done with him. Shaman! Probably summon shot. Shaman! That would be my guess, because that's it for the monsters. That's it? So I have to assume they summon Earth Demons. It probably summons Earth Demons, but we don't start with any. That's an improvement over what I thought was going to be in there. And there's a trap here. Okay. And the trap here. 
Okay. Which I think next time you wouldn't bother with your crap then. No. Uh, I wouldn't. Alright. Yeah, that's true. You finish your turn. Oh, sorry. I go forward one. They are just damage traps that do scenario damage, scenario damage, I can't read it, is eight, I think. How many points does the elite? Oh, I gotta spawn you them. Gotta spawn them. I gotta yeah. spawn them. I haven't spawned the bad guys. Scout number six is elite. And they're not knocked down a level this time. No. Eight hit points. Okay. Let's make sure he's at the right. Is he at the right level? Because last time it messed that up. No, what the heck? Oh, you know what? Okay, so I fixed it. We're good? 11 hit points make that. Ooh. Oh, and I don't then like the way number you fixed it. Five shaman. And number six shaman. And the shamans are going rapid quick, disarming. That's not good. No. <laughs> nice. Oh, they have shields. They have shield three. I, my, I can't see the app. My eyes aren't good enough. And my rat won't go until next turn. Nope. Because he would want before me when there was no freaking target. And I miscounted my movement by one. So I'm not actually taking Why is this show trap damage eight? Did I not read that? Is it just me failing to read? Mm. Yeah, why is this one trap damage eight? No idea. The app is showing trap damage eight. Because I take 8 damage when I open this door? Please, no. All the Vermling Scouts are one level lower? The problem is I can't change that on the app. If I change this one, it changes all of them. See, now the Shamans are weaker. Oh no, they stayed 5. There you go. 4. Did say all, eh? I thought it said special rules. All Vermling Scouts. Good catch, thank you. Yeah, I like 8 versus 11. I mean, it's not going to matter. Why is this one trap damage? I'm pissed off because I miscounted my movement at 5 one. At 8. I don't understand. I, I don't have the rule book, so. Trap damage is level plus 2. Alright. I guess it's 7, even though for some reason the app is showing trap damage to 8. Are coins worth 4 at least? So yeah, they're going to attack, muddle, and disarm. At yeah. ranged. Um, not feeling great about this. So, uh, that's it. That's my goal. I'm having a short rest at the end of the round. Oh, Jesus. It's because I clicked the solo box, assuming you're playing all the characters by yourself. So everything's wrong on here. What? Oh. What's wrong? Like the trap damage and shit. Everything's one level higher than it should be. Oh. Because it assumes we're playing solo. Can I turn that off? There. Does that there turn it off? One of these for me. Still shows eight damage. Okay. Coins are four, that part's right. I'm not planning on jumping into any of the traps. So. Uh, no, you can't I push your pole. My... Well, maybe you can push. Nope, that part's gone. Because that is what you should be doing to these guys. Because they have shield. If you can get them in the traps, they're both dead. They each only have four health. I have push. I don't have pull. Well, so that would... wait till they get to the doorway. I don't know. But I don't have that card right now. It's the other half of my augment that's up here. I'd have to discard yeah. it, get it back into my hand. All right. That's actually what I did last game, right? Yeah. But, but... I... Are you done? I'm done. Ooh, okay. Shaman. They are moving three, but they have range four. He... Do, do, do. Uh, yeah. uh, shaman's first here. Shaman's number five. The seven five. He could hit you from there or there. Nice. So, we'll go there. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. Alright, I will give him disadvantage. You die. Even with the disadvantage? Well, it's two. You yeah. can discard a card. Oh, yeah. I'm going <laughs> down anyways. Uh, sure, I discard a card. Um, 
one. And you're muddled and disarmed. <laughs> I'm muddled and disarmed. I might as well just commit suicide at this point. Okay. No, because the other guy's going to go number six. Uh-huh. I think he can hit from there. Can he? One corner to corner without touching a wall? Yeah, that corner to that corner will work. He's no disadvantage this time. For two. <laughs> yeah, I don't see how. Mm -mm. Bob's like, go pick up the coins! <laughs> and then finally we have a scout who is also attacking at range this turn. And he can reach you from there. Mm -hmm. So we have a big three, three. Right. And okay. you die at the start of the turn? Well, no, because I could discard uh, these go to there and then I'd have another go, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. My rat only moves two. I wanted so to you use need to run all the way over here and let him do it. I wanted to use the card to pull him up for, yeah. but he has to be three away from oh, me. I miscounted um, because of the water? water. I miscounted my movement by one. Uh oh, terrible. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going down. I don't see any point Next in playing round. the rest of this out. Oh, we gotta see the end. We have to see the end? We gotta see the end. Well, then I have to discard another card. So, I'll discard this card. I will have to discard this. That's not helping me. Um, see, I don't see how that's helping me. Don't you have to discard both? I have to discard and then both short of rest. Them, and I wouldn't have my rat anymore. Hmm. So that's not helping. And then I would short rest, and I would get one of these back, and I would have one last turn, and I'm going down. Like there's yeah. there's no point in playing it out at this point. Um Oh, right, and this one you can't discard it, it's burned when it goes away because it's the summon. Oh, so, so that doesn't work anyways. Enough. I don't even have enough. All right, the so there you go. You can discard. Dun, 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 dun. We don't. We, we came up with uh, victory music last week. We don't really have failure. Oh music. yeah, thanks. <laughs> I don't. I don't get to hear the Final Fantasy. Music. You don't get to hear the Final Fantasy music. I don't know. I, I don't have. I don't have. I definitely need to go shopping. Yes. I need some healing potions. I need better equipment. All righty. Hmm. So. Yeah, sad trombone, price is right, failure sound. Any of those would have worked. I just don't have any of those available. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for sitting through it with me, guys. Boy, I definitely need to See, I don't need that. Pretty much. <laughs> there we go. Too bad invisible, it only worked once. I don't know. So, what are your thoughts on scenario, the the, the Mind Thief scenario? Uh, Is it just you don't know how to play Mind Thief? Don't be a jerk. <laughs> um, having that five automatic damage when you open the door is pretty brutal. This yeah. was an interesting room with That's no bad neat. guys in it. I thought it. that was really cool. Actually, uh, I like that. It was interesting. There's items that let you bring back discarded items, though. Vienna has them. Yeah, yeah, there are. She discarded, has one. The, but not burned. Wait a minute. No, no. they let you bring back burned. They let you bring right. back yep. burned yep. items. We she has that. an item that would let you get the cloak yes. back. Yes, the pendant She could use it twice. Tax. I, I do actually have that. But I think I need to get rid of my curious gear, which yeah, lets me this... disarm traps. The only cause... thing good about the try, if you can get these guys in, they need each side. Like there's, there's two traps ifs. and two They're guys. Because they would, they have a really long range. They would have to move all the way up to here for me to be able to push them. I don't have any pull cards. Yeah, okay. So that's... It's just that seems like those traps are there for them. For that? <laughs> like... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some cards that I never use that is actually a pull. I thought I only had a push. All right. It is 10.15. I don't know if we want to do a two attempts. Do we want to do two attempts on one stream? Uh, you probably want to stop the stream. Do we want to stop the stream and start you. another stream? I'm not sure I could handle I losing twice in one night. That's up to you. Like if you don't want to do another one, that's fine. Uh, I gotta, I gotta think this out. And I need money, and I need to go shopping. I really should have collected all the coins. Yes. Um, <laughs> I get one coin. One coin. That's four bucks. Ooh. You get four bucks. Um, you get all the XP you earned. Wrong. Yeah, fantastic. Now I'm even more level nine. 
Yeah, I do not have anything that pulls. I didn't think so. Here, I'll try to make these more obvious what squares are. Not even in the cards I chose not to take in the various levels. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we're going to take the candles off. There we go. So the candles will be more. I do have an invisible self card. Prosperity level four, I think. Yeah. We're prosperity level four, right? We're like one away from prosperity mm -hmm. five. I think so. I'm See, almost that's positive. That's not even a burn card. Yeah, invisible self. I have to it's put not that a burn. Back in my deck. That has to be in your deck. Yeah. Except then you won't be able to move. Yeah, but I might not care when. Like, was there a lot of moving going on in here? Yeah. I ran away trying to at least hope they'd have to move in. So, but turning invisible would that's... be the same difference, right? <laughs> day after day warns you. Also keep in mind, there's one more monster that's not shown yet. <laughs> keep that in mind. Okay. Well, I figured the rock golem was going to show up at some point. Or demon, whatever. Hmm. But anyways, yeah, the invisible bit doesn't... Uh... I'm almost positive we're prosperity level 4. And we're like 1 away from 5. We're so close to Like, five. we're so close to yeah. 5. We gave one more prosperity, it'll get us to prosperity level 5. Which we could have got on our last road trip, but we did something else. So, Sean, what do you think? Do we, if D goes again, do we start a new stream so we have a separate video? That way we have one in our pocket to release, or we just do it as two attempts? You want to attempt your solo mission? No, I don't want to set it up and okay. and have to find all the monsters. and We'd spend 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We would spend 45 minutes um, setting it up. All right, so we should close this out, and then you can decide if you're going to do another one. All right. Well, so we kind of went over this already. So final thoughts, first thoughts. I gave you my thoughts. I moved the monsters. I think I was good at moving the monsters. I don't think I screwed up any monsters this time. I don't except think for the we fact broke any rules this time. The summon. The, sum the mon summon. I swear there was a rule that said summons acted different instead of 99, but... I we pointed out many things. Yeah. I mean, I remember um, looking that up. Yeah. So. I don't know if there was something that says the account is having initiative 99, but it was very clear what got copy pasted. Yeah. So big thanks to the chat room for helping out, correcting us. It wasn't just Imogen. We, we got more. We got like folk in a chair. We don't, we don't, just, have, think, we don't just have guy in a I chair. We had extra. Think, particularly because these guys have been showing up and correcting us every week that we have to do the buck up for the muck up. We should do it the week after extra life. Um, and every time they correct us, we have to throw a dollar in the jar and then we yes. donate that to our extra life. Fund. I think we should that do way. that for the stream. For the stream from now on? No, just for the week after extra life. The week after extra life. Well, because okay. this, you know, like, because this week, Cat and Tori aren't here. Yeah. Or we could do it next week, just before it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. next week's just before. Like, it's the, first, the extra yeah. light's the so next So every day. time they catch us messing up, every we time have they, to donate every, every time, money. Yeah, fuck up for a fuck up. Yep. We may say muck up. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, fuck up for a fuck up. We're going to pay a buck every time. I Matt think we should do it throughout the were, year. Well, we could. I just don't have a lot of money, personally. <laughs> yeah, um, there, there is that. But Cat and Tori said they were up for it, so I think we should do that. I think it would be cool. Yeah, that's true. We should not be staying up too late that night, but well, yeah, we might want to get some rest. Yeah, but we'll still probably play gloom. Hour long event. Assuming Pat and Tori are coming over for gloom, maybe they won't even come over because the night before. I mean, that's, maybe we should plan we, right should now plan that right we now won't be running to. a stream that night. Yeah, and that might be a good we call. just get some sleep and rest. That way, we get some rest. Last year, not... they came over and we played prep the auction. Yes. So, and I can't guarantee that that won't happen again. Oh, thanks for stopping by day by day. Day after day gaming, sorry. Love to see you back. All right, so oh. we are probably going to try this a second time, but we're going to put that on a separate stream. So for those of you watching us on YouTube or uh, somewhere else through YouTube, thank you for joining us. Uh, again, I am the Tabletop Bellhop, Mo Tuzno, your cardboard concierge. You can find me all over the internet at Tabletop Bellhop, one word. My home base is TabletopBellhop.com, where you can find answers to your gaming and game night questions, reviews, news, uh, lists of online podcasts to check out table, other tabletop streamers, all kinds of good stuff. So head over to Tabletop Bellhop and check it out. If you've enjoyed this stream and uh, enjoy our content, 
be awesome if you headed over to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and checked out our Patreon project. I don't think we have much else to talk about here. Just be sure to like, subscribe, follow, all that fun stuff that you do on social media to tell a content creator you like what they've done. Uh, for Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. And I'm Deanna. Good night and game on. Where's my bell? No bell. No bell. There we go.